Hey there, future California elementary school teacher. Welcome to another CSET multiple subjects test prep lesson. My name is Elliot Zelenskis. I've passed the CSET and I'm going to help you do the same. Now, this video is a simple, brief overview, but important information all about test day tips. So without further ado, let's jump straight into these seven tips. First, when arriving to the testing center or opening up, if you are taking this at home or online, remember to approach the exam with a focused mindset. Now, you wanna walk into your exam without the ego, just knowing that you've taken the time, you've read the study guide, you've taken the practice test, you've done what you can in the time that you have, and now it's time to pass the exam. So walk in there, ready to pass. Not ready to take it, ready to pass. Now, next, remember to wear comfortable clothing. It's easy to wear the wrong thing and feel uncomfortable. And that's just another thing in your head that you want to eliminate so you can be totally focused. Third, I recommend bringing a bottle of water and a healthy snack. These exams are long. And if, again, something disrupts your focus, like hunger, thirst, you want to prepare yourself for that with something healthy, something ready. There are lockers that the test center will provide if you're going to the test center and they are going to allow you to put something in there so that you can pause and grab a snack. All right. Fourth, while taking your exam, make sure to read the directions carefully. Of course, this is all stuff that you know, but be careful because there are instructions at the beginning of the exam. And then every single question has its own set of instructions. There's a lot of what would you do for this reason, except that, or not that, or for this specific student, for English language learners, for advanced readers, there's, there's nuances, there's details, and those details are important to help you match the correct response when doing the multiple choice section and to write correctly when completing your constructed response section. Now, my fifth tip is to pace yourself that's why you take the practice test again and again and again so that you understand, do you perform faster on the constructed response or on the multiple choice so that you can know that if, for example, subtest one has 52 multiple choice questions, how, at, at what speed should you be answering each question in order to complete the four constructed response questions that, for example, subtest one has? So have that in the back of your head and just be ready. Now, sixth, use the process of elimination to find the best answer. You need to read quickly and determine not only what is the correct response, but a lot of the times you can have a more confident answer or you can be more confident in the answer you select if you are able to eliminate the other solutions that aren't the best fit. The last tip for test day is to reread your responses before submitting them. So do not write your constructed essays and then click submit. You really need to check to make sure that what you wrote is exactly what you want to say. All right. Thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you in the next video.